we're going now to the... Now we go to Lublin, it's another uh, church uh, closer and closer to the border. Uh, this church we just we visited for a uh, sandwich project. It was uh, Puave, very small church, very small, but and, and and small number of young people, but all of them they were engaged. So that was so. That, that's right. Uh, the, the church itself has about 40 uh, members, uh, and uh, and it was just beautiful to see the youth director and also young people be involved. So now we are taking some of these sandwiches further on as well. So hopefully. Uh, we'll be able to give them away maybe at the church or maybe at the border tonight where we meet with the other director from, the, from Poland. We have about 15 people that are sleeping over and we have accommodations for uh, about maybe 40 people, 40 to 60 and every day these people come in and then they leave, they try to go to other cities but Lublin is a very important city because at the moment we're the first station that these people come to so it's essential to have uh, accommodations for them so that they and the instructions so that they know what to do later on. Yes, so would you mind just taking us a little bit and showing us the accommodation where it is? Uh, okay. So, so Marty, tell us, tell us a little bit. Uh, this accommodation would be, I guess, made uh, on the mattresses, is that right? Yes. We have mattresses that were donated, we have mattresses that we purchased for this purpose, and um, these sleeping quarters are simple and humble, but they're just the beginning because these people come over to sleep only for one night, two nights, like a couple of nights tops. So this is only temporary and it's only to get them back on their feet. Uh, uh, let's go and ask. Let's go and ask. Yeah, yeah. It seems like uh, just fresh people they came. Uh, uh, so those people they come from Kovel, and uh, an hour ago they just passed the borders. <laughs> <laughs> Marty, tell us about this room here. As you can see, this is the children's room. We have a lot of kids over here because the only refugees coming here are women with children. Uh, we're renting this place out, of course for free, for all of them. And uh, as this is our church, we are going to have our services elsewhere at a different place so that they can stay here so that we don't have to just kick them out for the time so, being. So you, you are using your sanctuary so they can sleep there while you're going to be renting the place somewhere else, is that right? Yes, that's right. Thank you, Martin. Thank you very much. This is the elder of the church. What is happening here? <laughs> the chicken. <laughs> oh, that is chicken. I'm not sure I can show yeah, this. Some people, they, <laughs> they eat chickens. Yeah. Because but it's... we work with this. <laughs> <laughs> so where, where did the food come from? From, uh, I don't know... Uh, Lidl, Lidl or, or... Yedronka, we have yeah, our Polish, Polish shop. A Polish shop, yeah, so, which is not Polish. So they donated it or what happened? Yeah. Well, it was bought, uh, for this moment we have sponsors, even from Australia, yeah. and, uh, but uh, this is something uh, we, need, we, need, yeah. we need your help One and two participation. Times in a week we need this, this, this yeah. stuff here. Yeah, yeah, this maybe for two days. Yeah. Mm. We have just... Uh, Left is it uh, Lublin Church, is that right, Marek? And uh, and and truly, what a testimony is when the church uh, puts its head <laughs> to something. Uh, every single elder and agreed with the pastor to make a difference in this difficult time. Sometimes we can't agree on the uh, color of the curtains or the carpets. <clears throat> Let's not forget that part. But <laughs> but, <laughs> but when it comes to Adventist Church, when it comes to the moments of need. Uh, it's just so beautiful to see all of us coming together to help us. And very, very touching was that they said um, we are ready to give uh, our place of worship 
for yes. uh, to change it into place of sleeping for people yeah. they are in need. Yeah. So this coming uh, Sabbath they will be worshiping in evangelic church. That's right. Yes. Uh, also, uh, massive thank you. Mention some names, the elder, the, the uh, people who are helping them. Yeah, pastors uh, Vasil yes. and Remek and elders. Uh, what I know. Uh, we also met amazing young lady um, uh, called Yulia. Uh, so she gave us a short interview, which I will link below, uh, so you can hear, hear her full story. And also, thank you so much to Pastor who shared a little bit of his story. So now we are making our way to the border. Uh, so we're gonna join a night shift with the team uh, uh, with Piotr, uh, Adra, director from, from Poland. Thank you so much, for, so much for watching until now and and by God's grace uh, we'll be able to share some more uh, uh, positive and beautiful you know, stories of true Christianity in this difficult time here from, from, from Poland uh, and then very soon from U Ukrainian border.